The Prime Minister will begin a two-day visit to the southern states of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh as well as Telangana. He has a packed schedule in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu today. Well, uh, to begin with, he will flag off the one day Bharat train from Mysuru to Chennai. And this will be the first semi high speed train for the southern uh, part of the country and the fifth in the country. He'll also flag off the Bharat Gaurav Kashi Yatra train that will send pilgrims from Karnataka to Kashi. And there are those visuals you're seeing of the Terminal 2 of the Kempegora International Airport that will be inaugurated by the Prime Minister. The 5,000 crore rupees initiative has incorporated the concept of a terminal in a garden, a tribute to the garden city. It will double passenger handling capacity in Bangalore to 5 to 6 crores. Later in Tamil Nadu, Governor R. N. Ravi and Chief Minister M. K. Stalin will share the dais with the Prime Minister at the Gandhi Gram Rural Institute's convocation and uh, th this, uh, all of this a part of the Prime Minister's schedule in the southern states. Right, we also have uh, Shrija with us. Uh, Shrija, from flagging off a Vande Bharat uh, train from Mysuru to Chennai to the 5,000 crore rupees airport, that's uh, the terminal that's being inaugurated, the Kempegoda International Airport in Bengaluru. Take us through what all we can expect, uh, you know, what's on the agenda as far as the Prime Minister is concerned over the next two days. Well, Prime Minister will visit uh, Karnataka, that is between 10 a.m. and uh, 2 p.m. And of course, uh, we understand that there's a big, uh, you know, plan as far as Karnataka goes. It's a big southern push here in poll-bound state. Karnataka is going to polls in 2023 May. And as far as Karnataka goes, we are looking at uh, various plans as far as the BJP is concerned. First, of course... We're going to see Prime Minister making a visit and also garlanding, uh, especially Kanakadasa and also Valmiki statues. Now, that definitely has a huge political uh, significance here amongst the Dalit followers just uh, uh, ahead of uh, 2023 Karnataka elections. Right after that, uh, we're going to see Prime Minister Narendra Modi heading to uh, especially the SBC railway station where he will be flagging off two uh, uh, trains, uh, one of course the Vande Bharat Express and also we're going to see the Kashi Yatra Express. Now Kashi Yatra Express is something which uh, the uh, Karnataka government that is earlier in June, Bombay had announced that uh, the government will give a subsidy especially to those pilgrims who are going to take this uh, pilgrimage which means uh, per head it's going to cost uh, at least about 15,000. Now that again is a BJP push that we're witnessing just ahead of elections and right after that flagging of these two flagship trains we're going to see where Prime Minister Modi is going to inaugurate the Terminal 2. Now, once this inauguration is done combined both the Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 is going to make Kempegowda International Airport the second largest after Delhi because already as far as the Kempegowda International Airport is concerned what they tell us is that they're already seeing an influx of nearly 25 lakh uh, uh, passengers so that making it one of the biggest airports here in the country. Now more important and that has the biggest political significance is especially what we're going to see where Prime Minister Modi, uh, who's going to inaugurate the Nada Prabhu Kempe Gauda statue, the founder of Bengaluru. We've already seen especially how, uh, you know, the Congress is already taking swipes at Prime Minister Modi just ahead of his visits going on to talk about. It was the Congress government that gave it the name to the airport as far as the Kempe Gauda International Airport is concerned. So there are a slew of plans as far as uh, Bengaluru where the launch is happening right here in the capital city. Now that apart, uh, once all these inauguration is over, he will be attending a public function. A public rally that's going to be between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Yes, of course, general public is allowed. There's going to be strict protocol that's going to be followed. Now, this is the route that Prime Minister Modi will be taking. And more importantly, this route will be open only at least up, uh, until a few hours because the traffic police have already conveyed the message uh, to the people of Bengaluru that to bear with this inconvenience uh, for a few hours because Prime Minister Modi is visiting the state. 
Right, Srija, thanks very much for joining us with those details. So as Srija was pointing out, uh, that those string of events that are planned for the Prime Minister and the Kempegora Airport is set to become the second largest in the country after Delhi, Divya. Right, and uh, 5,000 crore rupees spent at that uh, airport, you know, that terminal itself. Of course, a huge, uh, uh, you know, achievement there as far as uh, Bangalore is concerned because uh, that uh, like you were mentioning uh, the capacity uh, Priyanshi as far as the kind of passengers that we'll have now at the Bangalore airport. Right the capacity is set to double to around uh, six crores let's just listen into what people have to say about this brand new airport opening up. Terminal 2 will be used by many people and it will help to grow the nation. It's a good thing uh, that they are opening the new terminal. It will be helpful, like more flights will be there, more convenient, less traffic and less uh, crowd crowded actually. I saw the many changes in uh, the domestic airports also. It's very looking very nice also. We are uh, very, 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 very this thing, uh, glad where uh, uh, he is coming to this uh, Bangalore, that is a, a Silicon City. So. We, are, we, the people of Bangalore and the Silicon City, are very, very, very glad. You know, I've been a frequent traveler, uh, both domestic and international, and Bengaluru definitely wanted one, uh, you know, world-class terminal, right? And thanks to uh, Narendra Modi ji for inaugurating and giving us, uh, as a Bengalurian, we are very happy and proud that, uh, you know, our PM is doing this for us.